What's up you guys? Good morning. Hope you're having a great day. Today I want to talk about tempo runs. You may not even know what a tempo run is. You might not know what the heck I'm even talking about. Basically, a tempo run is a type of running workout to increase speed, muscle strength, fast twitch muscle fibers, all of this type of thing to get you ready for faster paced stuff, longer stuff, and just overall fitness. And I really do love tempo runs, but I'm also quite weary of them because I have gotten injured from tempo runs in the past. So now, as I'm gaining my fitness back, I'm a little bit cautious going back into tempo runs. So I'm just gonna talk to you guys briefly about a different approach to the a typical traditional tempo run. There are so many different types of tempo runs out there. You can actually just Google it and look it up and you will find so many different formulas to piece together a tempo run. But really, I guess it would start off with a warm up followed usually by a higher intensity tempo effort section that they can vary in length. Sometimes they measure that on distance or sometimes on time, most often in time. So maybe like a 20 or 30 minute tempo effort, higher intensity, followed by a section that would be easy to recover. And then sometimes another tempo effort block followed by a cool down. So one of the most common ones that Gwen and I had done over the years was a two mile warm up followed by a 20 minute tempo effort and then about a five to 10 minute recovery and then another 20 minute tempo effort followed by a two mile cool down. I really personally loved that when I was in my top fitness. It felt really good to be able to do that every other week or so and compare my efforts to the previous time and I could see how I would improve and I really, really enjoyed doing that and seeing the improvement and it was super fun. And it was so different from trail running because most of the time when we do tempos, we're on a road and it's flat. Yeah, it's just really different to get moving that fast and have that type of heart rate and speed and it feels really good, but I did get injured doing a tempo run last year. It was at the end of my first ever 100 mile week. After that, the next week, I went in to do my final tempo workout before a 50K race. That's actually when I pulled or strained a muscle in my hip flexor and quad that left me pretty injured the entire summer leading into last year. And um, it was a huge bummer. So this year, I've learned a lot from all my mistakes last year, and I'm also very cautious because of everything I've learned going into this year. I do not want to get injured. I want to stay injury free. So all of you guys out there who are watching who may be coming off an injury or if you're new to running, I would be cautious of tempo runs or any type of really high intensity or hard workouts when you're um, just fresh into running again or coming off an injury because it's really not worth it to push something that little bit that you might get a marginal gain and risk an injury that you're out maybe for six months to a year. It's just not worth it. To me, I wanna run all summer long and I just wanna have so much fun. I love running way too much to risk it again. So I'm going into this year, this uh, spring's training with not really many goals except for to run a lot happy and healthy and just have fun out there. So today I actually did do my first tempo run, although it was kind of a variation of a tempo run. And that's kind of what I wanted to tell you guys was it doesn't have to be a structured, strict tempo run. So today, because I was a little bit scared of getting injured and I don't wanna go straight into a very intense, normal tempo run that I would have done before. What I did was I did about a mile and a half warm up. This was on a course right out from my house. So it's rolling up and down hills. So it's like climbing and then descending and climbing and descending. Nothing too steep, but quite a bit of variation. So I did that mile and a half warm up, and then I actually did a mile hard. So my hard right now is probably not as hard as my tempo effort was last year, but I'm not even paying attention to my watch and I'm not looking at my heart rate and I'm not looking at the time or the splits, which I normally definitely would have done in the past for my tempos. And I'm going to later on as I get gain fitness and strength because that's part of the tempo is paying attention to all of that so you can gauge your effort. That's extremely important in a tempo if you really wanna do it correctly. But I suggest when you guys are coming off the injury or it's your first time, just going and changing up the pace and getting used to going hard for a little bit of time. So then I went hard for a mile and then I did a little bit of recovery for about four or five minutes and then I did another mile hard. And this was with ups and downs. I don't know what my heart rate was and I don't think it was pushing 
too hard um, and I really was paying attention to that. It wasn't full out, you guys. This was not as hard as I could go. When I mean hard, it was hard enough to feel difficult for a mile, but not so much that I would get injured or I would be totally gassed or out of breath. It was definitely sustainable and it felt really good to get going. So I did that and then I did a mile cool down and it was very different. And yeah, I didn't, I had my watch on, but I wasn't looking at it and then, except to see when that mile clicked off. It felt really good just to get out there and try something different and to change up the training a little bit. And I'm really looking forward to getting into some real tempo runs in the future. I guess to sum it up, I encourage you guys to explore what a tempo run or what a variation to a workout could be because it can really help you change the stimulus. And if you're getting a little bit bored, if it's raining and you're like, I only have this one or three or five runs that I do all the time and they're getting a little old, this is something you can introduce your, to your training to yeah, make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more fun. It's becoming the rainy season here, so we're about to have a lot of rain and the trails still are not open, so it's a little bit limited as to where we can run. So this is really helping me enjoy the running and having a little bit more fun. And I'm also a little bit crunched on time today, so that allowed me to get in a little bit more miles and a little bit more training in less time. So that's another benefit to doing a tempo run. Disclaimer, you don't wanna do too many hard runs, you guys. You don't wanna do too many hard workouts. I usually only do one to two hard workouts a week and sometimes I do none. This year I've done basically nothing, no hard workouts at all. So this is gonna be kind of my first hard workout of the week and long runs are considered hard workouts though. So I guess I've been doing a few long runs but we've been going really, really easy. So that was just my caution to you. Don't do too many. Keep most of your miles easy, easy conversational pace. We recommend about 80 plus percent of your miles should be easy and fun and relaxed and you should be enjoying it. And that's enough of my rant. So I hope you guys are having fun, eating really good plant foods. Check out our website if you've been following us on Instagram, which I suggest you do because we have so many fun stories on there. We let you follow along through the day. We show you what we're eating. We show you how we train. We show you what the heck we're doing. You will see all of this amazing food we've been cooking up lately. Um, pancakes was today. So check out the pancake recipe that's on our Instagram and blog because I think you guys will love it. It's super easy and super delicious. Kid friendly and family friendly and doesn't take a lot. Simple ingredients, very good. And I love eating those pancakes before long runs or workouts. I think you guys will enjoy that. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.